it all it made us look in the mirror and see like what we're doing, like how we can get better, and what we needed to do, you know, what our next steps would be as a team. So we definitely had to you know, refocus and reset for sure. What did you see change in this team after that? Uh, I would say really just like our energy and our focus as to like things that we need to do and like how we're doing them. You know, it's not always like you need to change what you're doing, it's just how you're doing it. So I think that's probably the biggest thing. You've been at High Sticks, conference title games before. What, have, have you given your teammates any advice throughout this week? Yeah, I mean, it's just not to make it bigger than it is. Like, it's still football. Like, we're playing you know, however many games up to this point in the season, so not to make it you know, too, too big. Like, it's an important game, no doubt, but it's just an big game. When you first faced Utah, you were just coming off of an injury. Are you looking forward to actually having two hands to tackle with? Oh, uh, yeah, not because it's Utah, just because I like playing with two hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, it helps me more, so definitely like, happy I'm not in that cast. I know Lincoln talked after the Notre Dame game that he was kind of sick of hearing about the run defense. Uh, you guys shut him down for under 100 yards. Uh, where do you feel like that change has happened over the course of these last couple weeks to lock that down? Oh, yeah. I mean, just like I said before, just everybody doing their job and communicating and being on the same page. Uh, when we do that, we're a hard defense to go against. When you think about the, the turnaround this team has had, um, transfers have been a big part of that. When you first came in, what was kind of the approach that you wanted to bring and what do you feel like has allowed the team to, to get to this point where they're, you know, you're in this position? Uh, yeah, the biggest thing when I got here that we, we all talked about was creating standard and, you know, putting up you know, on the board, like what that looks like word for word and, you know, going through it and making sure everybody understands, like, this is what needs to happen. Like, no matter what, this is what we rely on. And I think that set the tone for everything else that we do. And I think that, that's probably, that is like the foundation to our success to this point. What did you guys put on the board? a whole bunch of stuff you can read it but uh, when the inner battle is the, the biggest thing that's at the bottom or kind of sums everything up so um, but yeah it's just something that we can all you know, look to each other and hold each other to and remind each other of and, and moments and things like that. Do you recall the first time that uh, Branch really emphasized the turnover mentality and you know, made that a point? Yes. Probably like the first day. Like, we talk about that like, all day that's <laughs> part of our deep three and out take so it's, it's embedded in language and culture, um, something that we pride ourselves on and that we take seriously. Aside from talking about it, how do you get good at turnovers? What, what do you do to practice or whatever to build that? Yeah, you got to practice punching at the ball, you know, stripping at the ball, just you know, focus on the ball. Uh, really just practice repetition. Getting, getting, so many, getting so many early takeovers in the season, what did that do kind of mentally for you guys as you go through the year? There were games where points and yards kind of piled up, but, but knowing that you yeah, I mean, getting takeaways, it's it's uh, it's comforting, right? It's uh, it gives you confidence as a defense when you're able to come up and make big plays like that, get the ball back to the offense. Especially, you know, for us, like you say, like three and out takeaway, um, when you're able to come up and, and make a big play, and make an impact like that, it's huge. So it's, especially these tight games, these close games. Do you feel like having a quarterback like Caleb in an offense where it puts so much stress on the opposing offense to maybe take risks they normally run in? Do you feel like that helps create more turnovers for you guys? I look at it like that, yeah, but I'm, I'm never really looking at it like that. I'm sure you're probably right. But it's really just stuff on the field, they're going to run with you, you're going to run. you got to react to it, you got to defend it no matter what. You have the cause of it, so, uh, yeah. What's the key in your mind to slowing down Kincaid? Especially after the way the last game went. Um, everybody do their job. <laughs> last time there was people not doing a job, that's not finishing. Um, we just gotta do better, we gotta finish harder and uh, do our job. How important was it for you guys to get short yardage stops yesterday? And how do you carry that over this weekend? Oh, it's huge. Uh, kind of part of those turnovers, it, it's huge to get you know, fourth down stops, short yardage stops, and get the ball back to the offense. Uh, that's the goal of the defense is to do that every time. It, it, it gives you a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence when you're able to do that. What's it been like for the team to see all the attention that Caleb's getting? He's kind of got the national spotlight on the man. No, yeah, we're all happy and we're proud of him. He deserves it. It's not really our focus as a team. We're still focused on the season and what we're doing together. Uh, but we're all excited to do it for him. He has our support and he knows that. And we everybody behind him. How have you seen him handle that intense spotlight? Yeah, he's the same guy. So it makes it easy for us because he's not. Focused on, he's not talking about it. Focused on winning this game. He's made the you know amazing look routine at some points this season. Any 
play or anything that stands out to you when you look back on, on what he's done? Uh, I still go back to the spring. He hit me with a no look pass in the spring practice, and I'm still kind of in shock about that. So, <laughs> uh, nah, he, he, he's amazing. Like he, he's you know, one on one man. So um, just what he's able to do, he, he keeps us alive, and you know, he's a heartbeat of this team. So you were playing receiver in the. No, I wasn't playing receiver. Okay. I was in defense. <laughs> okay, got it. I was got on it, the receiver. And he threw it like that, and I was like, oh man, like, I, I thought he was gonna throw it to my guy. He didn't, so. Got it. <laughs> well, Thanks, Shane. Awesome. Thank you.